All right, well, here he is, Nalevi Marte, finally here on MLB The Show. Now, again, with his PED suspension in real life, he's not actually in MLB The Show, at least for me to use him in franchise, so I had to edit him in. And that's to the best of my ability, making Nalevi Marte. I, I did 76 overall. You can debate that. If you want that to be lower in the comment section down below, I will make it lower. But 22 years old, Nalevi Marte immediately inserts himself back into this Reds lineup. Uh, of course, we have to add him to the 40-man roster and put him with the Major League team as well. Now, I don't know if Marte is going to immediately go back into the majors after his 80-game suspension in real life. I would assume he would see a stint in the minor leagues. But in terms of the game, why not bring him in already, right? He is a shortstop who can play third base as well. We're going to obviously let Ellie De La Cruz deal with the shortstop position. And then we can just move Marte over to third base. Now, I was on the fence, I'm not going to lie, about letting Marte play right away in the major leagues. However, we had the injury to a Christian Encarnacion Strand, which just makes things really difficult. Because when you lose your first baseman, then what do you do? Because Jamer Candelario is playing third. We got to move him to first now. Yeah, this is going to make sense to put Marte in the lineup. He can play second, he can play third. Primarily third, though, is where you want him, and we will switch that around. We'll have Marte at third base. We'll move Jamer Candelario to first, and then, of course, Ellie De La Cruz will still play short, and then we can mix it up. Sometimes we'll have Jonathan India play, because, um, of course, India can play second base. We can also have Spencer Steer play second base as well. So, again, just mixing up the lineup as most, much as possible. And, again, Marte doesn't need to play every day, but just trying to get him in here. Um, I will warn you for today's video, I forgot to go edit his stance so whatever auto-generated guy he originally was in the game he's gonna have that random stance so that's on me I didn't switch that just yet I'll switch it for tomorrow's episode and folks if you haven't yet though make sure to hit that subscribe button down below for some more MLB 24 the show here on the channel featuring this Cincinnati Reds franchise so now into the month of July tomorrow we will have the draft we'll have the all-star game we'll do all that all-star game festivities type stuff we will see who our all-star will be I can assume it's gonna be Matt McClain but we might have some other guys as well like TJ Antone is having an incredible season John Means is having a really good season we will see I, I don't know um, who will be our all-stars right but in the National League wild card race we are still in that position we're, we're the last wild card the Cubs are two games behind us then there's everyone else with the Pirates and the Giants if the playoffs were to start today we would play the Philadelphia Phillies in that three versus six matchup in terms of winning the NL Central I mean we're 15 games back the St. Louis Cardinals they they have that thing on lock. They're 65 and 28, which is insane. Jock Peterson somehow is leading the MVP race. Jonathan India is in play for the batting title. However, again, he doesn't play every single day, so he'll likely be deemed ineligible to win that award. But today we're taking on the Colorado Rockies. We have lost the first two games of this four game series against Colorado, which is crazy because this is a team that's 35 and 57. Charlie Blackman's still on this team, Brendan Rodgers, Nolan Jones, and that's kind of it. So we're 50 and 43 again. Again, very in play for the playoffs. I think at this point, it'd be a little disappointing if we don't make the playoffs. Now, again, I've always said we will reevaluate the situation when it comes to the trade deadline. That is fastly approaching, and we got to decide are we going to be buyers? I think we kind of have to be, right? If you are in that last wild card spot, we are, what, two games ahead of Chicago? As long as, long as we can outpace that Cubs team, we should be able to make a run in the playoffs. And again, if we want to go up there and go toe to toe against the Philadelphia Phillies, the team that was, you know, second place in the NL last year, won the NL two years ago, we've got to be able to go out there and we've got to be able to have the firepower at least to beat that team. Well, we have it on offense. It's just our pitching staff, again, leaves a lot to be desired. But Brandon Williamson's been very good for us. 3.1 ERA. He took over the starting role from um, Frankie Montas. And of course, Nick Lodolo's out the rotation as well with that addition of John Means. We will check on both Lodolo and Montas tomorrow. They're both in AAA. But Brandon Williamson, man, this is a guy who can really fill it up. I like this guy a lot. Um, doesn't have the potential, I guess, of some of the other guys in the, in the farm system are really just in the system as a whole but he goes one two three right there in that top of the first inning we're gonna see dakota hudson today from the rockies he's been having a good season for them under four era for hudson but tj friedel is gonna lead off this game with a perfect perfect liner up the middle here comes matt mcclain gonna chop one too short there is adele amador to make the play but again with friedel running it deletes the double play basically here's your reds lineup friedel mcclain candelario martinez de la cruz
Cruz Benson, Marte, India, and Stevenson in the nine. Jamer Candelario, just a bad swing on a 1-1 pitch, and I get stuck halfway through um, the pace pass with TJ Freed also. We get caught out right there. Candelario is going to be on first base for JD Martinez. Martinez is going to blast one to center field. That's what he does for this baseball team. He's cooled down a little bit, batting 287 now. But another all star candidate, definitely for Cincinnati. They're on the corners with two outs for Ellie De La Cruz. He is going to barely get a hold of the fastball, but it's going to die in center field. Ellie's going to have an RBI single. I forgot JD Martinez is so incredibly slow. So he's going to get gunned out at third. But Cincinnati immediately gets out to a lead. 1-0, and now the pressure back on the Colorado Rockies. Ryan McMahon going to strike out on a circle change. Up now, the former All-Star, or last year's All-Star, Elias Diaz. Diaz strikes out coming into this game, batting 302. He'll likely be a two-time All-Star this season. And now Montero is going to pop out to Tyler Stevenson. So six up, six down for Brandon Williamson. Here comes the lefty, Will Benson. That's just a bad swing on my part. The third time today I've done that with De La Cruz and with, um, who did I do that with too? Candelario. I'm just not swinging the bat all that well right now. But here is Nolevi Marte. Going to pick up a base knock in his return. And Jonathan India, again, not a great swing but it's going to get down. Marte looking to go first to third. He will try. Here comes the throw, and what an arm right there by Brenton Doyle. Doyle does it again to the Reds, but it's not going to matter. Tyler Stevenson, deep left field. It's a no-doubter. I mean, yeah, we could have had a three-run shot if Marte didn't run himself out in the base paths, but it's fine. Tyler Stevenson, the nine spot, gets his ninth home run of the year, 409 feet, a lot of nines in that sentence. Tyler Stevenson puts the Reds up three to nothing here in the bottom of the second inning, and TJ Friedel back up the middle again. I mean, not as great of contact and exit velo as his last hit up the middle, but a hit's a hit. He's going to be on again. Matt McLean hits one sharply on the ground, but Amador is going to make that play. Three nothing Cincinnati, though, going into the top of the third. Here is Adel Amador. He will pop out into left field. I mean, he's batting 160 so far this season, still batting in the seventh spot. Here comes the rookie, though, the left fielder, Benny Montgomery on the 3 2 pitch. Swagging to miss. There goes Williamson on the cutter, down and in. Brenton Doyle's been making some good plays in the outfield tonight, but right here, strikes out on the slurve looking. That was on like an 11 pitch at bat. Let's go to the bottom of the third. The Rockies have gone down, though, in order through nine batters. Jamier Candelario rolls over to kick off the bottom of the third. JD Martinez can hit that sinker high in the air center field. I don't think he got enough of it. He did not. Brenton Doyle there to make the catch. Two gone, Ellie De La Cruz. He's one for one and make it two for two. Ellie De La Cruz just slaps one the opposite way. He's on with a two out single. Will Benson on the one one. De La Cruz is running, but Benson just doesn't get all of that fastball, really doesn't get any of it. It's going to be a pop out. Let's move to the top of the fourth. Charlie Blackman still looking for that first base runner for the Rockies. Not going to be him though. Striking out, looking on a fastball in. Brendan Rogers on the two two going to get popped out. And Williamson's doing a great job. Don't get me wrong. That was though his 65th pitch. The Rockies have just been working every single count we've had. That's pitch 70. Don't get me wrong. It's a strikeout of Nolan Jones, their best batter. But still, 70 pitches through four. Has not given up a runner yet. But man, you just you want to limit that pitch count just so Williamson can go deeper into games. After a Marte flyout, Jonathan India is going to pop back out to Diaz. Two gone for the ninth spot. Obviously, you know what Stevenson did in his last AV this time, though. Going to chop one to Amador over at short. Let's go to the fifth inning. Can the Rockies get a base runner? Ryan McMahon on the 2-2. Two -two, Going to hit one to center field. TJ Friedel steps up and makes the play. Now up for Colorado. It is the aforementioned all-star catcher in Diaz. 1-1 one, one pitch. Diaz in the center. Friedel charging in, and he can make the grab. A little bit of a difficult play, but we'll take it. Two gone for the former Cardinal in Montero. Swing into this. Williamson on the cutter. He's through five. Perfect inning so far for Cincinnati, which is kind of crazy. I mean, you know you don't want to mention it uh, in terms of jinxing him, but man, five perfect innings for Williamson. The problem, though, is the pitch count because... Yeah, I think he's, what, in the 90s now? Maybe the, the late 80s in terms of the pitch count. We'll see how much, you know, he can go in this game. You can't pull a guy, though, if he's got a perfect game, no matter the pitch count. So we'll see. If they do get a hit, though, then I think we probably will pull Williamson. He strikes out Amador right there on the fastball. Doesn't pull the trigger. Here comes Montgomery. Hits one to center field. TJ Friedel is 
there. Two gone now for the nine spot. Brenton Doyle, 2-2 two, two pitch. He will take that slurf and he will absolutely jump all over it. Doyle with 95 speed, rounding first, and he'll be on second easy. There goes the perfect game. There goes the no-hitter. I mean, obviously, did I expect Williamson to go perfect with 107 pitches? Probably not, but he's going to get off the inning. Charlie Blackman going to line out to Ellie De La Cruz, and that will do it um, for Williamson here today. But he goes six innings, six shutout innings, and Dakota Hudson now leaves the game after walking J.D. Martinez. Here comes Antonio Sensatella, 2.98 so far is the ERA for him this year. And oh my goodness, Ellie De La Cruz going deep center field. Doyle, though. Okay, he's not gonna take that one away. I mean, he was running pretty slowly out there. I thought he had a hold of it, but it's fine. Second and third after the ground rule double, and that's not a strike. Wow. Will Benson gets rung up right there. Nolevi Marte gonna hit one on the ground. It's gonna be an out, but still an RBI. Four, nothing for Cincinnati. Jonathan India, I don't think he went there, but they're gonna strike him out. To the bottom of the sixth inning, in comes the lefty Sam Mole, ERA of 3.78 so far this year, over 16 and two thirds innings. Brendan Rogers up first for Colorado. He will ground one too short. That'll be the first out of the inning. Now up Nolan Jones. He's held hitless so far, how everyone is for this Colorado team, but Brenton Doyle. But now, of course, Jones will join Doyle in having hits tonight for Colorado. Elias Diaz now down the line, and the Rockies have put together a couple hits. That ball's going to get past Will. Benson down the line in right field. This is going to be an RBI double for Colorado as Nolan Jones goes first to home. It's an RBI double again for Diaz. 4-1 is our score. Montero up the middle right to Sam Mole. That will do it for the top of the seventh, but the Rockies have cut into this Reds lead. They're on the board. It's 4-1. And now into the seventh inning, Tyler Stevenson, man, continuing a great day for him at the plate. He's in the nine spot, but he's got a home run and now a leadoff double here in the bottom of the seventh, bringing him up the top of the order. Again, with a runner in scoring position, TJ Friedel puts one, though, directly on a line to Brenton Doyle, and we've run ourselves out too much on Doyle's arm, so I'm not even going to try that, not like we would, but McLean strikes out in a changeup. Jamie Candelario on the 1-1 pitch, and we stranded Tyler Stevenson on second base. The guy gets a leadoff double, and he doesn't move. Not ideal to the eighth inning. Here comes TJ Antone. This is what I'm talking about. Like, I know it's not many innings, only 25, but all-star type stuff. 1.07 ERA. I don't know if they're going to give the respect to a setup man, but man, Antone's been very good this year. He's going to strike out Amador. He strikes out Betty Montgomery, but that one's going to get by Tyler Stevenson. So strike out, but a guy gets on due to a passed ball. Brenton Doyle strikes out. So he's already got three strikeouts in the inning. But he's still got to keep going. Chuck Nasty on the 2-1 hits one on the ground to Candelaria. We couldn't get the four strikeout inning, but it's all right. Let's go straight to the bottom of the ninth. Let's try the top of the ninth. Here comes the closer, Alexis Diaz. Here's his customized entrance, which isn't that customized. And there's not really too many people here in the seats in Cincinnati um, on a Thursday night. But it's all right. Diaz, 3.11 ERA, 30 saves so far in the year over 37 and two-thirds innings. Looking to shut the door on this Colorado team. And Brendan Rodgers will pop out to Ellie De La Cruz to start off the inning. Nolan Jones now on the one-two pitch, gonna hit one hard in the air. Center field, there is TJ Friedel. Two gone just like that. Ryan McMahon, the last coat for Colorado. Hits one high in the air, left field. Under it is Matt McLean, and he will make the grab. The Cincinnati Reds win at home. They finally get one in this series over the Colorado Rockies after dropping the first two. They will win game three, and hopefully they can at least end this series with a split by winning tomorrow um, for that final game. I believe that's on a Thursday. This is on a Wednesday, but it is what it is. Four to one is the victory for Cincinnati. I mean, the story of today's game, of course, the pitching of Brandon Williamson. My goodness, this guy has been absolutely incredible for this Reds team so far this season. He goes five and two thirds perfect, gives up a hit late in that sixth inning. But again, six shutout innings of baseball for him. Holds the Rockies to one hit. And the Rockies only had three this entire game. For Cincinnati, 11 hits. And again, they win the ball game four to one. You can't ask for much of a better performance than that. So we will go to the MLB draft tomorrow, folks. We will go to the all-star break. We'll probably play a game as well. And then we will also look at trades while we're at it. But again, after that, then we have the trade deadline video where again, we're looking to be buyers. So folks, thank y'all for watching episode number six of the Cincinnati Reds franchise mode here on MLB The Show 24. If you haven't yet though, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below for more. Thank y'all for watching and Mamba forever.